Hi, Jennifer. This is Greg. Uh, I spoke to you earlier today, uh, uh, Thursday, and I mentioned to you that I work with contractors, roofers, painters, HVAC, electricians, etc., um, to help them get more traffic to their websites, uh, to get more customers. Uh, so I'm taking a look at your website today, and I'm going to give you some free suggestions as to what you would need to do to really amp up uh, the presence of this website in Google's eyes to get more of that um, buyer intent traffic through to your site, which would equal more more jobs um, and growth. So hear me, I'm going to start with a little bit of an overview. Uh, it's really all about getting to the top of Google. Um, the top three results in Google get 80% of all the traffic. If you're on the second page of Google for any particular search, you are... Uh, you're not going to get any traffic, really. There's 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 very there's very few people that click through to the second page. So I will focus on three things here uh, in this video for you: um, content, the words and images, the the quality and the quantity, backlinks. So this is um, this is Google's uh, popularity contest. How many other sites does your site link to? Uh, are those sites trusted? And therefore, is trust by association passed to your site? And number three, citations. The number of times that your business name, address, and phone number are mentioned on directories, local and national, um, throughout the web, Yellow Pages, Yelp.com, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If you get these th if you get these three things right, you have a very good chance of getting to the first page of Google. If you get to the first page of Google, you are um, you're in a good spot. So uh, you might be asking yourself at this point, why do I do this? I do this because uh, many local businesses, uh, particularly in the in the construction field, do great work for their customers, but don't spend enough time figuring out how to draw new customers into the business. Um, I focus on that, and as I say, I, I work with uh, with with uh, contractors in California. I'm based in Santa Cruz. Um, you can use this information for free, and if it's useful to you, that's that's wonderful. But of course, um, this is the work that I do in my agency, and I'm more than happy to help you out. Um, if you want to take any of this further. So without further ado, let's jump into content. So taking a look here at uh, at your site, uh, it's, a, it's a good looking site, it's very modern. Um, what Google cares about more though is the content. So they don't look at the aesthetics, they look at the content. Two things, quantity, how many words are on the page? Google assumes that the more words you have speaking about your services, the more authoritative you are and the more likely you are to answer the questions of their customers, people doing the suit, the searches on Google. Uh, so they want to see, I recommend, uh, a minimum 1,500 to 2,000 words on the home page. That's this page right here. And at least 500 words per service page. Um, so you've got roofing, solar, and other services. Now, I noticed that um, you have an extensive array of services that you offer, which is fantastic. This is a very good opportunity to build out your site with all these keywords, uh, with all this content to capture all this different business for all the different services that you offer, okay? Um, so we need more words on this page. I did a quick count using this tool and throughout the site, it looks like there are a little over a thousand words. And based on the number of services you have, I, I think you'd be looking more in the range of 7,000 words to really build an authoritative site in the eyes, in the eyes of Google. That's the quant that's quantity. In terms of quality, then um, Google wants to see uh, keywords scattered throughout your content. Uh, what is a keyword? A keyword uh, or phrase uh, is a phrase that a that a potential customer like me, who doesn't know your business, uh, will be using to find roofers in my area. So here's an example: roofer. Mountain View. I picked Mountain View because I see that you you uh, service northern and Cali uh, northern and southern California. I'm in Northern California, so I picked Mountain View just up the road from me. Um, this is a keyword: Roofer Mountain View. A another example. Uh, another example would be um, uh, uh, Mountain View Roofer or Roof Contractor Mountain View uh, or Roof Contractor oakland berkeley san francisco you name it any of the other uh, areas that you service if you write these keywords into your content google makes a match between your content and search results or, or search phrases that their customers are using and if they make that match they'll show your site 
Um, I'm going to take a look at. Uh, so this is a tool that I use uh, that I that I pay for about a, a grand a month to analyze websites. I'm looking at your site here, Cosmic Renovation. So um, what stands out to me are two things. Firstly, your organic traffic. This is the number of customers, potential customers on average, that find your website every month. Um, it's a low number. It's seven. Um, and I will look at another website and show you what it could be. But for now, let's look at your keywords. So you have 78 keywords, and um, they are, for the most part, not what I would call uh, location-based buyer intent keywords. By that, I mean location-based we need to mention the location that the service is offered in. Because typically, uh, someone looking for your services wants a local contractor because it's convenient. Um, so so you, wanna, you want keywords that mention the location. You've got Concord here, um, Concord here. I know that Concord is where you're based. Um, but if you service all these other areas in both Northern and Southern California, we need to write into your content a lot more location-based keywords that speak to your services. Here we're talking about roofing, but I, I see you also do artificial lawns, um, solar. So, you know, your keywords should speak to all these services. OK, let's take a look at uh, a competitor of yours, Ian Campbell. This is uh, Roofing Campbell. Uh, they they run about 560 odd keywords, which for them is driving uh, almost 400 um, uh, uh, customers visiting, potential customers visiting their website every month now. Let's say a one in four conversion rate. Um, you're looking at a lot of business here, okay? So we're going to take a look at their keywords just to give you an idea of, of what we need to do here. So here's a location-based keyword, Campbell Roofing. Um, but it matches their their uh, domain name, but it's also a search term. 350 people per month search that, and they are on the third position, first page of Google for that. Roof Repair San Jose, 100 searches. Roofing San uh, uh, Roofing San Jose. Uh, roofing Campbell. Okay, so they've done quite a good job. Um, I'd say they could do better at um, at really building out this keyword strategy to get more of this organic volume. But having said that, almost 400 organic visitors a month, which is actually very good. Um, all right. The second thing I wanted to mention to you then, which is a very big factor in, in, in ranking, is referring domains and backlinks. This is the popularity contest. How many other sites have agreed to link to your site and how much trust therefore flows between these two sites, allowing Google to trust you and raise you up in rankings? Uh, you have 70 backlinks from 27 referring domains. Um, let's take a look at your one of your competitors, uh, now a vastly bigger number. 70 to 27 versus 888 to 182. Uh, the strategy here is, um, and what I would do, is understand who they are backlinking to, and go out and find the, and go out and make those links myself. So you contact these other websites. There could be other roofing sites, chamber of commerce sites, um, other home renovation sites, and um, you ask them, can I, can you link back to my site, please? And if they agree, sometimes you have to pay, but if they agree. Um, you establish a link and you do that over and over and over again until you build up this backlink profile. Okay, so that's that's backlinks. Um, not all backlinks are equal. If you connect yourself to a spammy site or an irrelevant site, maybe maybe a, an auto dealer or, or, or McDonald's or whatever the case may be, it doesn't help, it hurts actually. So we, get, we wanna get the strategy right. And the final thing that I said that I would talk about um, are citations. So this is the mentions, uh, of your name, of your business name, address, and phone number in directories. Um, the more you do this, the more likely it is that you can win this, uh, what is called the map pack. So these are the first three results that show in any search below the adverts. And by the way, at any one time, up to 40% of people block ads and never see those ads. So you'd be, the, you'd be up here in the map pack, which allows your potential customers and customers to leave you reviews and call you directly from their phone and over half of, of search engine users are actually searching from their mobile phones. They will call you directly if you're here. So the strategy with citations then is um, find out who your competitors, uh, what directories your competitors are, are, are listed in and beat that number by at least 100, 150. Again, this is a matter of reaching out to every directory, entering your information, making sure the information is exactly correct every single time. You build your citation uh, 
uh, profile, which helps your ranking and gets you to win the Google Map Pack. So again, just as a quick overview, uh, Jennifer, and uh, thank you for watching this video. Content strategy, keywords, and volume, very important. Backlinks, win that popularity contest, link out to those very trustworthy sites so that Google can trust you. And citations, let's find out what directories we can list your site in um, to win the map pack and also the organic rankings so that um, if done correctly, uh, you know, we can really ramp up the traffic to your site, get you more of those jobs coming in, allow you to, to, to you know, if you're, if you're currently relying on Home Advisor, Angie's List, Yelp, or, or Google Ads, cut that cost out of your business because you won't need it anymore if these organic customers are coming directly to you. Uh, so with all that being said, Jennifer, uh, maybe this is a longer uh, video than I was anticipating, but you have a lot of content here, um, good stuff that can be done to, to bring this business in. Um, as I mentioned, if this is useful and you want to, to discuss further, I'm always available and this is the work I love to do. So I'll send this across to you. Thank you for watching my email and uh, watching my video and um, I hope to speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.